Yes, welcome back. We're going to resume with the training. So we're going to cover the HGCB high. Just give me a minute and then we I'll share the slides. We're going to cover HDCVI product recorder. So for those of us who are not in touch, we are doing the HSA certification. And uh, one of the prerequisites, one of the things that you need to learn in this certification is get to know our products. And uh, we have done an introduction on the IPC. We have done introduction on uh, 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 recorders, and we talked about naming rule, uh, how we how we name our products, uh, so for easy identification and uh, to get to know what features the product has. I'm going to do a product uh, recorder introduction in this section. So uh, this is our last session for today. Then uh, tomorrow at eleven, the same time, we'll be doing two sessions again. So at 11 tomorrow, we're going to do another session then in another topic. So the, main, the full meaning of HDCV is a definition composite video interface. Uh, HDCV is patterned with DAWA, meaning it, it's proprietary to DAWA and it's specific to DAWA. So it's an overcoagual cable video standard. So the same way you do the uh, use other standards to do uh, video transmission in uh, cables, coaxial cable, the HDCV now is for DAHUA, DAHUA specific to DAHUA. And there are different versions of HDCV technology. So uh, the advantage of uh, uh, HDCV technology is that you can do composite video. So. Uh, unlike the old times where you would only do video on uh, over coagulation, at the moment you can do uh, video, audio, data, even alarm information via HDCVI uh, coagulation cable. Sorry. So the supported resolutions for HDCV is 4K, 5MP, even up to 1 megapixels. So 4K is, uh, is 8MP, basically. So you get 4K, 5MP, 4MP two megapixels and one megapixels. The transmission distance for HDCV is uh, for coaxial cable up to, up to one kilometer and for UTP up to 450. Of course, this is theoretical, but for the practical, just uh, lower the value a bit. Uh, also, you can do upgrades via coaxial cable. And it's com uh, compati compatible with the uh, other uh, uh, video transmission standards like CVBS, EP, analog HD. So it's, uh, the HDCV technologies are employed on the side for the camera. So the versions for HDC, uh, the H versions for HDCVA that we provide at Dahua. So the, the first one was launched at 2012 then it's uh, doing the patenting and everything. So at the moment we are at HDCVI 6. So different HDCVI versions have different uh, different features. Like for the example, if you're uh, using HDCVI 2 and uh, HDCVI 5, for HDCVI 5, you can get AI features using the coaxial cable. And you can also do full color, full color camera series using the, the cables. So I think you can take note of uh, maybe the, the various series that we have, and maybe uh, for the exam purposes, you can be conversant with HDCV6, but it's good also to know 
which technology is old. As much as new products are coming to the market, you get it's good to know what how the history was. So uh, we're going to do naming rule. Uh, the same way we did naming rule for IP products, we have naming rule for HDCA products, so the analog products. So uh, the naming rule is quite easy for the recorders. Uh, the common models that we sell at the moment is XVR. You remember when we were talking about recorders, we, when we talked about XVR, it's, it will support both IP cameras and uh, analog cameras. So the, the naming rule for XVR is, you see XVR, then you have different series for four, five, seven, and eight. So the higher the value, the, the, the higher the cost and the, the, bet, the, the, the more the features in terms of AI and uh, other features. So if you see, uh, it's good for you to master this because I think for the exam purposes, you might be required to explain to maybe to, to identify how many channels does, does this uh, model of XVR has. So the first value will be the HDD. The number of channels will be the next value. And then other functions in terms of uh, doing. Other functions in terms of uh, uh, AI generation ETC. So if you 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 have a uh, if you have an uh, H two sixty five from this side here. So as, assuming you have an uh, H two sixty five uh, compression technology XVR, and you have a H two sixty four camera, so you would need to you to switch to H two sixty four. Like so for for the compression technology to work together with the with a camera, you need to either use uh, the similar ones. So H.265 models can support even H.264B and H or H.264. But H.264 recorders cannot support H.265. H.265. So someone is telling me that the voice is closed. I don't know. I think uh, everyone can hear me. Quite well. So maybe you can check. Okay, okay, now it's open. Fine. So you can take note of this uh, uh, product naming rule. So the, from this naming rule here, we can see we have series one, four, series four, five, seven, and eight. And uh, general, general, general products that, that we have, maybe this is a table for. The same way we do, we did a uh, naming rule in cameras. Then we saw uh, entry, entry light, with sense, with mean. So we have the same with the XVR. So we have entry series XVR. Uh, we have copper series. So the, the typically the cost for these ones are quite cheap. Then from the light series now we go to five. So XVR four series are entry series. XVR five ones are uh, light series. We have pro and ultra. So for the pro ones are uh, XVR7 and the ultra XVR8. So you can see you can see the features supported by different different XVR models. Like for the ultra, you get perimeter protection, SMD plus. We talked about this. Smart motion detection, we talked about uh, the protection cases. And then it can support also facial, facial recognition. But if you're going to do facial recognition, you're going to do up to six channels. So like maximum number of six channels for facial recognition. Um, so you can see the, uh, this table will give you uh, the generally how many like uh, the, the for X, uh, for the light series pro and ultra, all of them support H265. And also a few models for the entry series, that's the four series, support H265. Then the copper one series version support 
H264. Basically, this is a table of how the um, uh, the, 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 the product features. We, are, we had a case where a customer was telling me that he's con trying to connect a camera. So he was having a very old model uh, XVR. So he was trying to connect the camera, but uh, the camera cannot, uh, cannot, cannot be viewed on the screen. So in terms of uh, compression technology, it's something that you put into factor consideration while doing troubleshooting in the network. So maybe you can you can just check this at your own uh, free time, so that you can know. So you also know how many we also have support uh, XBR models that support even up to H eight hard disks. So it's uh, so these models are just uh, are ab abstract for the actual value of, of models. You can see it later. So we have AI series XVR. So the same way we have AI series in VR, we have analog analog products that support AI series. So the ultra ones uh, support AI. So we have ultra ones that do AI. We have we have a, a Pro and Light that and that also do AI. So for the easiest identification for uh, AI is. Uh, you would see I, I at, at this point, you see this, 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 let me just highlight it. There's this. This, this I, so the easiest way to do identify an I, I product will be, you see this I, I value here. So the Wismind AI, so, if you're not with us, this is the how we are how we are handling. So we are starting with this Wismin as we go down. So the Wismin AI with uh, 4K output. So with the Wismin AI uh, XVR8, you can do H265. So we switch from the list. Then you can support uh, 64 uh, IP cameras and. For the, each of the IP cameras, each can have uh, up to 12, 12 megapixels per camera. So see, it's, it's quite good uh, product. And also you can do perimeter protection for 16 channels. Uh, you can do a video, six video channel stream, analog cameras. You can also do channel, four channel meta, metadata. So this metadata is the information which we talked about before. Uh, data about information about information. So. Uh, we can do up to maximum of four. In terms of uh, face detection, twenty-four. So these are just values that you can you can on your time you can be checking them, so that because at times maybe it's good to know so that uh, you might be doing a project then you realize that you are you are trying to implement something when the system cannot. So you get to know, you can check this information at your own time. So um, uh, maybe we can check this information maybe at your own time. I'll just I'll just scroll by them uh, slowly. Maybe it's something to talk about uh, in XVR seven. So we have features like AI call, calling and point of sale. So it does not support uh, uh, two way talking. So I think you guys know. The features basically how many what features uh, these are so for the actual values that we each specified model support you can just be checking the them at your own free time so for the fr how it occurs we also talked about this you can do facial detection then you have an xvr that can support facial recognition so the the camera will just do uh, camera taking uh, pictures taking then processing is done at uh, XVR. So we talked about how, how we can achieve a facial recognition in uh, DAHUA system using FD or FR cameras. This one we also talked about is something that you already covered. So maybe something that I can talk about, uh, uh, about alarms. So alarms, alarms are from uh, 
uh, products can will uh, you can do alarm monitoring from either your mobile phone using the DMSS app. So DMSS we have cross platform one. You can get it from iOS or you can get it from from Play Store. Sorry, from App Store and Play Store. And uh, from a uh, computer side, you can have uh, DSS 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 uh, as the alarm side to to do monitoring of alarms. So DSS is Windows based. A uh, typical scenarios where you do facial recognition is uh, in entrance and counters. For, for the cases of banks, you do uh, FR here and ATMs. For recommended products for, uh, for, for facial recognition, you can get an uh, HD camera 2249 series. So this will take uh, clear pictures with the starlight feature. Then you can do XVR, which you can do facial recognition at the background side. So this is an AI, AI product. So typical application also for AI uh, face, face recognition with HD products is uh, uh, a store. So for the cases when you need to identify VIP products and provide that ex excellent support or impression for the customer, you do FR in high-end uh, situations, clubs and banks. So products, also we have specified products that can, for these specific scenarios. Uh, for HD camera, you can do 2402 series. So I think this is just information that you can uh, be checking on your, at your own free time because uh, this is just uh, it's 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 something that you need to 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 grasp and you for that case for you to grasp you will need to do at your own pace. But I'll just scroll through each of them, then you'll be posting the videos while while you work on uh, accessing the files to you, please. So we talked about perimeter protection, all these features we already talked about. So it's not good we, we repeat. So we just save time on it. SMD plus, we also talked about SMD plus, what it entails. So majority of the information here that, that are included is something that you can, uh, you can check on your own, then you can understand. For general product series, um, I think it's something that you can be checking, but for the specifics into the models and uh, specified models and functions, uh, the exam uh, will not put more into consideration that maybe in the future we are doing uh, advanced version of the certification part. So um, we'll end the training for today. Then uh, tomorrow we'll do training at 11, 11 a.m. So we'll, have, we'll cover another product, another training session tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to do transmission products. So we're going to talk about switches that we have. Uh, we're going to talk about wireless products, et cetera. So tomorrow we're going to do transmission at 11, at 11 a.m. So you can join us tomorrow, we resume with the training. So for this case, if there's no other question, you can end the session from this point, then we meet tomorrow. So have a nice, have a nice uh, weekend.